You know, James, one of the things that happens to us as Christians when we start to think about God and how he loves us, if we're not careful, we use the model of human love in order to understand it. We think God loves us like our father loves us or our wife loves us or our children love us. And the problem with that is God's love is unconditional. It's uh, one of the chapters in there has a point that God's love is uncaused. There's not anything you can do to cause God to love you because he loves you already. And God loves you now as much as he ever will. He will never love you any more than he does now. And he loves you as much now as he ever has because God's love is eternal. It's immutable. It's everything God is. The Bible says God is love. <laughs> and when you try to explain that to people, especially people who don't have uh, an experience of, of receiving love, maybe even from their own human fathers, they're missing it. They're missing it. And I wanted to tell that story uh, as best I could to people who I knew needed to know that God really loves them. And there are so many folks out there like that. <laughs>